Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard. Moses, would you welcome? I don't know. I just felt like doing that. It's time to do 1617 Studio Basketball. Eight bucks break number 10. All right. I got to put my ponytail back. <laughs> All right. I'm going to kind of run through the studio. Because we got hella breaks filled. All right, Ryan, let me check on that so I can confirm for you. Yep, I got it, my man. Thank you. All right, made a note of it. Oh my God, Brian! Don't even don't even get me started on how you bought like three cases of. Uh, what was what was that break that you dude you bought like three cases either early it was either last I think it was excuse me I think it was last week my man bought like three cases of the archive signature series he's also gone to pound town on, on definitive baseball I wasn't here for that Jason was here for that that's when I first you know recalled the the, the man the myth the legend that is Ryan dropping major major dollars And yeah, man, since since I've been here with you, Ryan, dude, my man drops hella dollars with us, man. And we've been getting him some nice hits, some very nice stuff. That you know what I you know what I'm pissed off about though, Ryan, is I didn't get a chance to look at the definitive, man. Like, and what when like I love Jason to death, bro. But, like, he does not take pictures of, like, breaks or, like, hits or whatever. Unless it's, like, a fucking Godzilla 101 or something ridiculous, like a Babe Ruth 101 or something like that. You know, he has extremely fancy tastes. So he doesn't take pictures of, of hits. So I was a little upset that I, I wasn't able to look at any of the stuff that was there from Definitive. Uh, so I'm a little salty about that. But whatever. I bet he was, Giddy. I bet he was. I bet he was. He told me as much. He's like, ha, huh, fucker. I filled it all. And I was like, really, bro? Like, I gave him that emoji. I was like, really, bro? I just want to send a special shout out to Kathleen. Thank you, Kathleen. Buying up a bunch of stuff. Got Astros Cardinals and Optic. Blazers Magic and Spectra. Fuck yeah. Thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate it. So Spectra number two is down to nine. Optic number three down to seven. Inception's already failed. Gold label number five is down to twelve. And the Optic Baseball Full Caser is at 24 right now. Golden Boy Tommy, what's up guys on Breakers? We've got a loaded night so far as far as Breaks is concerned. Fuck yeah! She's going to open up all these packs right now. And get through this thing. Because something tells me I'm going to be breaking up until midnight and like way past that too. At least that's the, that's the goal. That is the goal for sure. Yeah, Chris Fitz, I do have leftover pizza. 
That's that's oh, dude. I I spent like fifty dollars with Pizza Hut last night. I bought twelve wings. I had got two large pizzas, stuffed crust. One of them was a Supreme Pizza. I love Supreme Pizzas. Don't judge me. Uh, and I got a Meat Lovers Pizza as well with the stuffed crust in it. Um, what else? Oh, and it also came with bread sticks and a two liter of Mountain Dew. I ate the bread sticks. I ate the chicken wings, and I ate like an entire pizza <laughs> last night. And then earlier today, I had like half a half a pizza, and then I brought the other half to eat later today. So hey, fifty bucks for two days worth of pizza uh, of food. I think that was a good investment. Plus, I hadn't had pizza in forever, or chicken wings for that matter. So I went I went a little balls deep on on, on that. It sounds like my weekend, <laughs> dude. I, listen, it was it was a great time, and it's not like I ate the pizza all at once. You know, I had like two slices here and there. You know, you spend 12, 14 hours in the office, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> you're gonna eat at some point. Dude, breadsticks are the bomb digs. And they were like, they were these breadsticks that had like cheese melted on top of them. With the marinara sauce. Oh, yeah. The wings were Parmesan garlic. I, I, I understand Parmesan garlic is not like a popular choice for some folks. But I freaking love it. I'm a fan of garlic and I'm a fan of uh, Parmesan. Garlic Parmesan together? Psh. Yes, please. Yeah, Rip City After Dark. Like, I, I need to, like, put an advertisement out or something to let people know that, uh, you know, after midnight Eastern Time, you might want to put the kids to sleep. Because Uncle Jesse gets crazy. And you all get crazy too. Like the whole room just gets really raunchy after like midnight. Like after a certain point of time, like the room just gets like really disgusting. And, and I love it. Dude, marinara sauce is so fire. So fire. I I, I wish, like, I want to, because I like to cook. If you couldn't tell, <laughs> I'm a big boy. But I do like to cook. And uh, I've always wanted to, like, make my own sauce. Like, okay, it sounds terrible here. You know, we're going to start Rip City After Dark a little early, apparently. But uh, I like to, uh, you know, I want to learn how to, like, make my own sauce. Like, how, like how, do, how does one go about making marinara? You know what I mean? Because my goal is to be a house husband, like my boy Richard, and my boy is also a chef, so I kind of want to model my life after his, and just, you know, you know, my woman's going to be the bread, ma the bread maker, but I take care of home, and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm nasty in the kitchen. I have no problem being a house husband. At all. What? You telling me I get to stay home?
Oh, come on. Almost done with the uh, pack opening portion of this break. How far are, am I thinking for the Optic and Inception? No, no, hell no, nowhere near that, Ryan. Within like the next hour, I'm going to start all those breaks. Uh, so let me see, let me look down the line. Uh, Elite number four is pretty quick to do. Uh, and Spectra super quick. So I'll tell you what I'll do, Ryan. I will knock out... I mean, they're all relatively quick, so I mean, it doesn't doesn't really matter what order I go in, honestly. But they will be done way before midnight. I guarantee that. This is the play. I'm gonna finish this. This will probably take me another 15 minutes once I'm done actually going through the cards because I'm almost done opening them, which will put us at about what 8:40 or so. So, dude, I'm I'm gonna be done with like all these breaks in in a couple hours. Elite's a half caser. That'll take probably 30 minutes. Spectra's a half caser. That'll probably take like 10 minutes. Inception full case. That'll probably take like half an hour because that's super quick. And then uh, if anything, the longest one to do would probably be optic. Half a case of that will probably take like 30, 45 minutes to give you an idea. You know, and there's also the personal box that I got to do with Valen and Ginter for my boy John. That's the first thing I got to do. That'll take like... 10 minutes or so uh, but anyways let's go ahead and start the uh, studio here real nice looking cards I just wish I didn't have to turn like every other card over Chris Middleton of the Bucks to 199 the auto A Ben Simmons rookie base for the Sixers, but it is a rookie, so still pretty, pretty good. But is this the from downtown? Nice, the case hit Yogi Ferrell from downtown with the insert. From downtown, case hit, very nice. Nice hit for the Mavericks. Uh, Havlicek insert. This is like a variation or something. Boogie Cousins, patch the 15. That's like one of the nicer patches I've seen in this set. DeMar DeRozan going to the uh, Raptors. I mean, DeMar DeRozan going from the Raptors to the Spurs. Did y'all hear about this? Kawhi Leonard going to the Raptors. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know who got the worst end of that deal. I do think that both teams got better, if that makes any sense. Because Kawhi Leonard wasn't playing for the Spurs anymore, so they got better with Demar Derozan at least. And Demar Derozan, the worst superstar in the league, and Kawhi Leonard is gonna play. Because if he doesn't play, there's a little rule in place 
that won't allow him to become a free agent. Uh, there's like a little stipulation there or whatever. Giannis die cut for the books. So Kawhi, you know, can't sit out the whole year. He has to play at least a certain amount of games. Or otherwise, you know, the team can, you know, withhold him from going into free agency. So he has to ball out. At the very least to like show other teams and like like dude, this is what y'all must have forgot. I'm Kawhi. I'm a baller. Shot collar. Put some respect on my name. And DeMar DeRozan with Greg Pop, I think, is going to be, like, really good. Because he's never had a great coach. And Greg Pop is one of the greatest coaches. So I think DeMar DeRozan could really flourish with the Spurs. And I think, you know, Kawhi could do well with the Raptors, too. I mean, you know, they, they, they won a lot of games last year. They were the number one seed. Obviously, they didn't get far. Uh, but, you know, Kawhi Leonard... Is no DeMar DeRozan. And that's a good thing. Because I'm not really a fan of DeRozan. Wilkins die cut for the Hawks. Sixers need to make some moves. Like seriously. They need, they, they need, they need some shooters around Ben Simmons. And Embiid. Embiid needs to stop shooting threes. I don't know what the hell he thinks he's doing that. Stretching the floor, bro. No, man. Get in the paint. You're a big man. Get big and get some rebounds. Get down there. Tussle, man. Throw some elbows. I want to see old school basketball. Patch for the Rockets. James Harden. Jante Murray, Spurs rookie. This kid's good, too. Spurs got a nice little team, man. Don't sleep on the Spurs, as long as Greg Pop is the coach. Damian Lillard might get traded. I hope he goes to the Heat or something, man. There's an auto for the Sixers, Justin Anderson to 299. That's two boxes down so far. LeBron James cast patch. Okay. Yep, tell me about it, Jeffrey. Tell me about it. And because of the LeBron trade, too, man. We lost so many picks, bro. But I already know what we're doing. We're gearing up for next season. Next season is going to be huge for free agents. Kobe Bryant, Lakers, die cut. Hopefully, if Whiteside can, like, get his shit together, I think he could be a dominant player in this league. But I don't, like, it's it's really all in his head, man. Giannis Bucks, very I don't know what you call these. But they're cool looking. They look almost like marble or something. Nice. Top five. Jalen Brown right there for the Celtics. 
insert. That's pretty cool. What up, Alan? Triple spots today if you buy into uh, Allen and Ginter, Optic, or Spectra in the store. Allen. To 150 right there. Got to random that. That takes the place of a hit. That's not cool at all. The Maker of Thons. With a patch for the books. Uh, Alan, I got some emails from some people, but let me see. Let me see. I got your email saying you got your cards. So, again, man, if you're missing anything, please shoot me an email. Please shoot me an email if you uh, are missing anything. Is who any good, Kells? I don't know. The Panini points? Tch. Panini points are like the, the greatest thing ever. Dario Sark. When you get enough of them. The Westbrook Die Cut Thunder. Wait, so you are missing any? Are you are missing something? Because I got the email. And the email says you the email says you're good. The email the email that I got from you is saying that you got all your stuff. Am I mistaken here? I'll take them all. Dude, what are you talking about? Remember, I'm stupid, so you got to talk to me like I'm stupid. A buddy healed auto to 299 for the Kings. Oh, gotcha, Alan. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. You know, Ryan, I think the most Panini points I've ever seen on a card, maybe I'm bullshitting here, but I could have sworn I saw a 2,500 panini point card once all right alan that's all that's really what <laughs> that's really what i wanted to know are you good or are you not <laughs> all right perfect awesome that's what i'm talking about good because like, you, you you're straight you, you're bugging me out for a while i was like dude is he fine is he not what's, what's going on kevin durant warriors i'm gonna call those uh m marbles yeah, I've hit the 900 a couple times, but I could have sworn I hit like 2,400 or 2,500 one time in one card. Not like combined, like in one card. Is there is that is there any truth to this, people? Do, do, do any of you guys recall this or have you ever seen or heard of a 2,500 Panini card? Rock solid die cut for the Rockets. I think these are also case hits too. About one or two of these per case. Oh, okay. It may have been just like straight two thousand, but I do I do recall hitting one of those, and I was like, damn, that's a lot of Panini points. DeMar DeRozan, Raptors. Ah, uh, excuse me. Carmelo Jazz. Got that, got that. Karis LeVert of the Nets with a patch. Finding over a thousand is like hunting down a leprechaun and robbing the cat's gold. <laughs> robbing it from its gold.
I don't know, Kells, if you if you saw Panini points in like a National Treasures break, would you be happy about that? If it was like ten thousand Panini points, <laughs> which is really what you need to like get something like really nice. Kevin Durant, die cut warriors. Right, like if flawless had Panini points, would you be would you be funny? Would you would you be happy about that? That's another one, Alan, that I, I did not know. Is yeah, awesome, cool, Panini points, great. But then to charge you shipping on top of that to get the card out to you? Man. That is not cool. A Ben Simmons rookie. Second one right here. Right. Imagine that, freak of nature. I, I open up a case of Flawless, and it's all Panini points. <laughs> you get Panini points. You get Panini points. You get Panini points. Another rookie Ben Simmons Sixers. Almost done here. Jake Lehman Blazers two ninety nine. One billion Panini points. Got three boxes left. Andrew Wiggins, Timberwolves die cuts. Yo, that'd be cool. A Willy Wonka thing with Panini or Tops. Like, oh, you got the golden ticket. Come visit the headquarters and get your very own card. Or we'll put your face on the Panini Points cards. Or hey, come look at the behind the scenes of how we, uh, you know, put the sets together. And ooh, ooh. That would be kind of cool, a little Willy Wonka scenario. Shoot, we might, uh, you know what? I might have to piggyback on that idea and do that for us. You know what I mean? Like, dude, like, uh, eventually when we get big time enough, like, oh, dude, we, we're, did you hear Rip City's running a raffle, bro? You know, they're putting, they're putting golden tickets in people's, uh, you know, packages. If you got a golden ticket, bro, you get, you get, you get a Willy Wonka ride to Rip City headquarters, man. Yo, seriously, I want an Allen and Ginter card. I really want an Allen and Ginter card. You know, yeah, it's funny you mentioned that. Have you guys ever seen that Willy Wonka movie, like, as an adult or something? The man is clearly a serial killer. Like, it's obvious. Well, Ryan, eventually, man, eventually... You know, once we start bringing in, you know, big money dollars, I'm down to fly somebody out to Miami, dude, for sure, for a weekend or something. You know, hotel and, you know, those expenses paid. I'll, tr I'll treat you to dinner or something. Come in as a guest breaker or whatever, dog. Like, I got, I got ideas for days. The problem with having ideas is that you need, like, financial backing <laughs> for, some, for most of them. <laughs> Like, one thing me and my friends do, like, we, we, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a pothead, okay? I like to smoke. What can I say? It keeps me from uh, doing other stupid shit. 
And uh, one thing we like to do is we like to come up with like movies. And we've come up with like a whole, like we got franchises <laughs> that we've come up with of like movies. And if like a Hollywood exec were to like overhear us, not for nothing, but we've come up with some pretty sick ideas for movies. And they will like totally steal our ideas and like make it. Clyde Drexler Bray. Right, like you know, exactly. I'll even do I'll even have my, my sorters dress up as Ubaloopas. For sure. Freaking nature, I mean, if have you looked at the store dog? Like I filled four breaks in like the span of like ten minutes. So we're gonna be busy. Not to mention I think I'm gonna get more breaks filled here real soon. Optic number three at seven left last I checked. Spectra number two at nine left last I checked. Those are likely gonna fill too, so come through. Come through, uh freaking nature. I could I could use your help. Pack stacking. Malcolm Brogdon bucks two ninety nine. Plus you can pick your stuff up and that way I can save some money on uh, shipping. If you want to come through, that's up to you, bro. That is up to you. You've been pump faking for a while now. You want to come hang come hang out with the Moses? Come come through. James Harden Rockets uh, die cut. Lakers patch, Brandon Ingram. Almost done. Dwayne Wade to the Bulls. <sighs> Pretty much, Jeffrey. Like, for the most part, like, the people that come hang out with me and watch the streams, for the most part, do partake in the, uh, in the old uh, herbal remedies, if you will. All right, last box mojo. Oh, mojo. You totally did not see that. That was a figment of your imagination. I totally didn't drop those cards. Lakers patch, Julius Randle. Prestige worldwide. Uh, both, Feek, both. Come on, man. You're talking to the Moses here. You've never partied with the Moses. I am a party animal. Which is why I really can't wait to go to the National and, and hopefully get to meet some of you guys and hang out afterwards. And get chocolate wasted all through Cleveland. Clyde Drexler die cut for the Blazers. How many of you guys are going to the National, for those that are watching? And if you don't know what the National is, then don't worry about it. Ben Simmons, rookie Sixers. Really? John A. going to be at the National? Nice. I know my man Rara is going to be out there. Dang, John. I hope you better come by the booth and, and say what's up, man. Maybe well, maybe we can have a beer afterwards or something. Maybe maybe visit the Gentleman's Club. I, I don't know. But I am a party animal. I am into all things debauchery. Ryan is going next next year. I believe it's going back to Chicago, dude. I, the national in Chicago was a lot of fun. This is gonna be my first year going to Cleveland. Oh, Allen, yeah, well, okay. Somebody's salty. The maker of thorns for the Bucks. Are they any good? I don't know. I mean, he 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 was doing okay, and then he kind of had like a setback. 
They should have never got rid of Jason Kidd. I don't know what they're doing out there in Milwaukee. Jason Kidd's a good coach. Did I hit the auto in this thing yet? I'm about to say. And the final auto to 299 Wade Baldwin of the Grizzlies. Okie dokie artichokes. Before I do my recap, we do have to random all 150 of these Panini points. Believe it or not, that's got to go to one person. I know, I know. I wish I could split it up, but it's got to go to one person. I let's uh, let's do that. We're gonna go seven times in the random. Uh, let's pull that up on the screen here. What sport is this? Basketball? Yes. <sighs> ah, excuse me. All right, boom. You know the deal. Seven times, top team gets. Put any points. 150 of them. Good luck. And the money shot seven. Boom. Seven times the Clippers will be receiving 150 Panini points. Don't spend it all at once, all right? Recap time. 150 Panini points, Clippers. The uh, case hit from downtown, Yogi Ferrell, Mavericks. It's a sweet-looking card. Patches. We got... Randall Lakers, Ingram Lakers, Lopez Nets, Lavert Nets, Maker Bucks, James Cavs, Harden, Rockets, Cousins, Pelicans. And our autos are Baldwin the fourth, two ninety nine Grizzlies. Brogdon two ninety nine Bucks. Richardson two ninety nine Heat. Layman two ninety nine Blazers. Healed 299 bucks. I'm sorry, Kings for healed. Anderson 299 Sixers and Middleton 199 bucks. And that was the break, my friends. Thank you, eBay. We'll get it out.